and welcome to Next Gen Banking London in Stockholm. I'm Hannah Wallace and joining me now is Tabitha Cooper of Nordair to talk about cultural transformation within a digital age. Hello Tabitha, it's good to see you again. You too, Hannah. So firstly, how do you create a culture change that people believe in and subscribe to? Not easily, <laughs> um, but I think that you can't simply tell people to change. Um, people need a reason why to change. So I think when you're trying to kind of change a, uh, the culture of an organization, you need to speak to why the change is necessary. Mm -hmm. um, so I think if, you know, first and foremost, it's super important that um, you're communicating effectively. And it may seem like an obvious thing, but that's really important. You need to also provide the story or the context in which you're asking people to change. Um, and I think it needs to be something that uh, touches and inspires them. Um, they, because, because, as I say, you can't, nobody likes to be told, change. As soon as you tell people to change, they're just going to go, no. Mm -hmm. um, so so I, I think uh, it's about being able to speak to people's hearts, mm -hmm. um, giving people the license to express what's in, what's in their hearts or what, what, it, what, it is, what, um, what it is that they're inspired by. Um, and I think that's, that's a good start point. Would um, you say that that's the greatest challenge, trying to get people to sort of believe in a culture change? I think, I think it is a challenge because for, for a lot of traditional organizations at least, you have the momentum of the, the, the past. You have the momentum of what we've always done. Mm -hmm. You have the momentum of the existing culture. Um, and I think and, unless it, culture is something that you address directly and find out, well, what is our culture? It's like asking, well, who am I? Who am I really? Because if you don't, if you don't find out who you are, how do you know what to change to? And how do you know if, if, if you've identified, well, we're, we're this and we look like that? Well, then you can say, OK, well, that's good. That's good. But that's not so great. We need to change that. So you need to identify who we are. And you also need to have the story of where it is that we want to go. All right, and how does a culture change program change a business? How does a culture change program change a business? Um, well, I think it's really important uh, for any, again, I'm talking about traditional uh, uh, corporate cultures just because that's the one I'm in. Um, but I think it's really important, and I actually think it's probably true whether you're traditional or whether you're a new company, that the, the, the change you're trying to make comes from the top. Because the whole point of leadership is to lead. So lead is, is the example that you're setting. Um, so how you change it is by starting at the top. So it's really like you need to address the top down. Um, but I also um, uh, talk about you also, the, the change also needs to come from bottom up. So, so when we're talking about um, sort of innovation, change, you know, you're, you're talking about actual methods that exist out there, sort of human-centered design, service design, UX design, um, agile. They're, these are all sort of innovative ways of developing new products that are very different from the old. So you have like a bottom-up sort of people stroke process driven um, uh, approach. But you also need um, a, 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 an inside in perspective, which is, like, how do we understand ourselves? How do we understand human nature? And I, I obviously point a lot to neuroscience because that's, that's a way for us to understand ourselves in a logical way. So wh why is human behavior the way it is? Well, neuroscience can explain a lot of those things. But I also think that we need to allow ourselves to be changed from the outside in, um, which is being allowing ourselves to be inspired by fintech solutions, by sort of new tech companies, startups, um, uh, working with um, allowing ourselves to, to be inspired by how they work. Um, but also, I think that, uh, so it, it's, it's top down, bottom up, um, outside in, inside out, it, it's, it's all of it. So, but I, I think the most important one, if I had to prioritize, is top down. You need to start there. And to end on maybe quite a tricky question then, how mm -hmm. do you embed this within a bank? So how do you address it in a bank? Um, I think it's kind of, it's a little bit what I was saying earlier. Um, you need to, you need to see who you are to start with. Mm -hmm. So when, when you're thinking about banks, traditionally you, you think tradition, you think hierarchy, you think top down, um, you think structures, control, um, processes, risk, compliance, all of that kind of stuff. And I think that a lot of those things end up engendering a culture which, which can, can be the opposite of what it is that you need if you want to innovate, change, and transform that culture. And I think a lot of the sort of top-down hierarchical traditional models are sort of tend to be fear-based. 
So I think that you need to call the elephant in the room. You need to identify what the elephant looks like, what makes up that elephant, and then basically once you talk about it, then you know what it is you need to change. Fantastic. Well, Tapitha, this has been great. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Thank you. And thank you for watching.